Hi guys, Disney Gym Girl wanted to use a magnetic servo for radio control. Um, I built this up just to demonstrate how to use a magnetic servo and I've got a radio controlled car here that I shall take apart take the little radio control receiver out of it, connect it up to here, which is the two wires or the coil of wire there, that's the two ends of it. So I'll connect it up to there and see if we can use radio control to control it. Just the simple forwards, backwards, left, right type receiver that's in here. Taking the car apart, this is the receiver. These two wires go to the motor at the front that does the steering. So those are the wires that will connect to the um, magnetic servo. And then the wires at the back here go to the drive motor. Well, I've already got one just there that I've stuck a propeller on. So I shall actually connect these wires onto there just so we can pretend my block of wood is an aeroplane. So I'll solder that up. That's soldered it up together. So we've got the wires that go to the coil for the magnetic servo. Go to the L and R on this simple little receiver. And then I've extended the wires up to the motor for the propeller. And they go to the F and B, forwards and backwards and the steering is LR left and right. So, use our little transmitter. That's our propeller working. And then, that's our steering. So, Job done. Just a little point, I did mention in the previous video that you need some sort of spring return to centre the rudder when you're not using it, because you get left and right okay, but there's no centre position, so you might want to put a spring on there or something. Slider2732 commented that on aeroplanes you can just let the wind centre the rudder. So as it's going along, if you press left or right, it'll turn left or right. But then the wind blowing across the rudder will actually centre it for you anyway. So you probably don't need a spring return on an aeroplane. But you probably do on a car. And I don't know about a boat, there's one way to find out, isn't there? All right, there you go. Radio control, magnetic servo. Let's just do it at an angle so you can see the neodymium magnet moving around. Job done.